Uh, my name is Mike McLaughlin. I'm one of the owners of Polar Heating and Air. If you're wondering the type of system I have in my own personal house, you're staring at it right now. This is Billy, one of our Nate certified technicians. Uh, if you're wondering who I have work on my, my own equipment, Billy's one of the guys. Uh, we're here today uh, just going over the new um, Nightcore Advanced Technology Program. I was uh, fortunate when I bought this house, it had been vacant for four years, and uh, I'm a heating and air guy, so obviously I, I wanted to upgrade and put high efficiency in my own personal house. So what we're going to talk about a little bit today is the type of system we have in here. It's a little unusual, but it's not reinventing the wheel. We'll kind of explain it all to you, tell you kind of the added goodness of, of how it works and why I decided, because obviously I could have anything I want in my own personal house, why I decided to go with this. We're going to go over it. Billy here is going to take some temperature readings, kind of explain a few more technical details to you. We're going to show you, you know, I'm kind of a gadget guy, so we, I have the Ecobee thermostat. There's a lot of options out there. You don't necessarily go with Ecobee, but I, you know, I have the iPhone app to um, operate it from anywhere. So the first part of the, that you need to know of this system is it's a ducted system. It's, it traditionally was set up as a split system where you had an outside air conditioner with a traditional coil and a, a scorched air furnace. So there was an old Linux 110,000 BTU, 80% furnace, coil air conditioner outside. The furnace that was in here was way oversized. So one of the first things you want to do with a system like this is you don't necessarily want to wing it because it works a little bit differently. So you want to do an actual Schedule J. You want to do an, you want to do an actual heat load and, uh, uh, and cooling load to make sure the equipment is properly sized. Oversizing your equipment, a lot of people will tell you, I'll give you a bigger furnace, I'll give you a bigger AC. You think they're doing you a favor because we all think more is better. And the, the furnace and the air conditioning, doesn't, it doesn't perform the way it's supposed to perform. It hot cycles on and off, and you end up being less comfortable, and you end up having to call someone like us in six or seven years instead of 20 years. So you really want to spend a little time, you really want to get a professional, however you do it, and you want to make sure that your equipment is sized right. And there's a lot of things to take into account. The way your house is pointed, whether it's north, south, east, or west facing, you know, type of brick, construction, windows, uh, insulation value. Um, there's really a lot that goes into it. We, we are fortunate being a, a top ring contractor that we have access to a website. It pulls everything from Zillow and all your real estate um, and your assessor's office, and we can actually do, you know, it'll, it'll actually do the heat load and heat loss calculation. And then when we physically get in your house, we can look, see if your windows are upgraded or downgraded, and, and see if we need to tweak it a little bit. But we have a program, basically, if you give us your address, we can plug it in, we can print out a report, we can show you the equipment you have, what it's, about what it's cost you now, and then we, can, now, then we can show you the new equipment we put in about how much your annual savings should be a year. Um, and then on top of that, we're very good at making sure we get you all your tax credits and all your rebates. So along those lines, this is newer technology. So the, the take this hot water heater and the uh, 16 sear air conditioner, which we'll go over another time, that, that qualifies for a good chunk of that tax credit, okay? And then as far as the rebates go, um, there's no real rebates on this as of yet. What there is is because NICOR has identified this system as an emergent technology. So what they do is the manufacturers submit a bunch of ideals of different combined systems. They look it over. They kind of pick some of the best ideals. They get all the engineering specs. They do the design. And then it gets to a final phase, which is actual in-home, real-life tests. So what you're looking at is the final stage of approval for a in-home test. NICOR really, NICOR and REAM really believe that this is on new houses in the Chicago market that this system makes the best sense. I know there's a lot of stuff out there like geothermal and all that. Most Chicago lots, most areas, most houses, you don't have the land. It's not practical unless you're building new construction. Geothermal, we do geothermal. It's great technology, but it's just even with the tax credits that are expiring in 2016, it's just so expensive. When something like this, literally the bang for the buck you get is amazing. So just to go over what it is, how it's different from your regular just furnace that has a burner compartment in it and how it works, uh, I'm going to kind of explain the components to you. Billy's going to help me out a little bit here, and then we're going to turn it on, show you how it works. Billy's going to take some tests as far as the air temperature and that. 
and we'll explain some of the differences.